Whoa! I just came back from an advanced screening of the movie Into the Storm. And I got advanced screening tickets because I'm WizWar 100, and they know to give WizWar 100 advanced screening tickets. No, no, that had nothing to do with it. Although I did get advanced screening tickets to go watch the movie. And what do I think of the movie? Well, it was a disaster, and by disaster I meant a disaster movie, and it kind of sucked. I meant the trailers. Okay, the jokes really blow, like the tornado. Actually, it sucked more than it blowed. Uh, but Into the Storm, well, it's a disaster movie, and well, if you've seen any disaster movie trailers or just disaster movies in general, you've kind of seen it all, and well, but what, what, what do I think of this particular disaster movie? Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, I have to say one thing is the trailers really, really sucked. Like the tornado! Okay, enough of that. When I went into this movie, I already had really low expectations of this, because I honestly was not expecting much. I, you know, it's a disaster movie. It's gonna have the disaster cliches. All the stuff you expect to happen in a disaster movie. Things get destroyed. Uh, people yelling and screaming, people dying and stuff, and there's gonna be some way to survive it, like, come on, that's pretty much what most disasters are. So, there really was no, nothing too special about it, but, uh, or nothing much to expect from it. However, the trailers, when I, when I saw it, uh, when I saw my sister watching it, because I was trying to invite her to go watch it, well, my expectations went even lower than when they were hiding in the shelters. <laughs> but yeah, the trailers really, really did not help the movie at all. But uh, the movie is actually, it's pretty enjoyable. Um, what did I like about it? Um, well, I liked the special effects on it. The tornadoes looked really good. It looked, it looked very real. It, like, I knew it was, you know, when you watch it, you know it's special effects. But, uh, you know, they did a good job and it looks real. And uh, some of the extra stuff like the fire tornado was pretty awesome. Yeah, I mean, the one thing that I was expecting from this movie is the effects, and the effects were really good, uh, I was very impressed, although, it wasn't that special, but hey, they made it look real, and I was willing to suspend my disbelief, and it looked good. Actually, now that I think about it, the special effects was probably the only thing that, you know, that I consider a big positive for this movie, and as for everything else, it was kind of okay, or, you know, they did their job, except, the. Uh, Except for the beginning when they were setting up with, with the people at school the, and the people in the storm chasers and stuff. Actually, I didn't mind those guys, although the, the high school stuff was just like, sh please shoot me now. I really did not enjoy watching it. Uh, although it was kind of necessary, which is, uh, while I didn't like, while I didn't like the beginning parts when they were setting up the high school stuff and the whole student and parents were arguing and so forth, and I didn't, and I didn't, um, find that part very engaging. It was necessary because it's, uh, it's the people that move the story with the tornadoes, because if it's just about the tornadoes, then you know, this movie is pretty damn boring, and you might as well watch a documentary on it, which they kind of had bits and pieces of it, and I kind of like that part. Oh, uh, one thing I did like is when they had the camera's perspectives, and this is not a spoiler if you've seen the trailer, when they're going into the school, you had the school security cameras watching it, and it almost feels like, you know, if you were to really wa if you were to watch this situation from like you know after the events and just overlooking the footage, like I like that part. That part was, that part felt uh, it felt very real to me. But yeah, the human characters—they're not annoying, and you know, well, except for these uh, annoying assholes that were that were trying to be. Oh God, there were. There was a few things in the movie that was uh, kind of just a little odd to see. Okay, so there are these two hicks, I guess, that were trying to be uh, big YouTube star hits, and so they're filming like all the stuff you do in your backyard, and it's just like I don't, I didn't, I didn't expect to see YouTube like in a movie or like um, they had Skype in it, which I thought, which kind of somewhat took me out of it because typically, typically to me, when you're in a movie, you tend to have stuff that's similar. The stuff like that's in our lives, so I was kind of just like, whoa, that's weird, they have Skype in a movie. The movie, uh, the pacing of the movie was pretty good. I, you know, almost through the entire step of the way, I was pretty engaged in the movie. 
And, uh, well, and for a two-hour movie, like, things sure went by rather quickly. It kind of felt like it was an hour and 30 minutes, and, well, I guess that's a good job for the movie. I mean, I, I, I didn't ask myself, like, is this movie over yet? Because this really blows. And, uh, well, the movie didn't suck, and, uh, I have to recommend if you should watch it or not. I... I would say go check it out, and I I guess I would go watch it again. I mean, the tornado effects were like, uh, they were really good, they were really believable, and they also did a bunch of like really, really cool stuff in it, so I would recommend it. I mean, it's worth a watch at least once, but you know, you're not missing much if you don't watch it. Well, the movie doesn't suck, like the other movie, Twister, because that sucked harder. We're gonna go take a look at the Sega Genesis that I got when I was in America. I'm watching the game. So, what was in there was the Game Boy Player with the disc. So that's my list of what I think are the hardest Battletoad levels in the game. I hope you enjoyed it.